and welcome to Fit at 40. I'm Debbie. And I'm Niall, and this is The Fitness Show, helping you get back on track with your health and fitness. In today's show, we will be discussing just what to eat with the latest health trends, as well as what to buy in your local supermarkets to make healthy and nutritious meals. We will also be finding out about what to eat and what diets really work. Dylan, our personal trainer, will be showing what exercises you can do at home, which will boost your fitness without paying expensive gym fees. Do you find that you're always thinking you could be eating better or you want to get fitter but don't have the time or money? Well, today we are going to explore just what to do in this situation. Nowadays, there is so much information about diets and healthy eating out there. It's difficult to distinguish what really works and what doesn't. We will be discussing three different types of diets, as well as our resident nutritionist from Bournemouth University, Joshua, revealing the truth about which of these really do work. The first diet we're going to be taking a look at is the macro diet. In this diet, you have to weigh out the food and calculate the protein, carbs and fat in everything you eat, all before you've eaten or taken a bite, which can become very tedious. Usually, to lose weight on this diet, you would minimise your fat intake and cut down on your carbs. But with any diet, if you don't exercise and reduce your calorie intake, it won't work the way you want it to. Our next diet is considered by many as a fad diet. This is the keto diet. The keto diet consists of pretty much eating only proteins and fats, limiting yourself to around just 10 grams of carbs a day, equal to half a banana or two teaspoons of sugar. Now this diet requires full dedication and a complete change of lifestyle. The last diet we'll be showing you today is the vegan diet, in which you must avoid all animal products. Many people today have adopted the vegan lifestyle because it abstains from the use of animal products as well as any form of animal cruelty. Some argue that this is the healthiest diet out there. However, as with any diet, if you eat too much, you won't lose weight. Now we will be showing you a quick and healthy dish Debbie made earlier on in the week that you can make quick and easy at home. With a full-time job or a busy life, it can be easy to fall out of the healthy routine of diet and exercise. It can be hard to find the energy to prepare nutritious meals or get a great workout in when you work all day. But here, I'm going to demonstrate how you can prepare a healthy but delicious meal, which is quick and easy, perfect for those of you who have a busy lifestyle. So the dish we'll be making is kale salad with chicken and sweet potato, which only takes 35 minutes to prepare and cook. The ingredients you will need for this dish for two servings are two medium sweet potatoes peeled and cut into half moons, three tablespoons of olive oil, some salt and pepper and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, about eight of frozen chicken pieces, four teaspoons of white wine vinegar, and one bunch of Tuscan kale with the tough ribs removed and thinly sliced and half a cup of toasted almonds. So preheat your oven to 200 degrees and on a tin foil covered tray you're going to spread the sweet potato on one half of the tray and drizzle over one tablespoon of your olive oil Season with a bit of salt and pepper, a bit more pepper, and then arrange the chicken pieces on the other half of the tray. Now we're going to bake it in the oven until the potato is tender and the chicken is cooked thoroughly, um, probably about 20 minutes or so. Then pop that in the oven. So in a large bowl. We're going to put our white wine vinegar and a tablespoon of mustard. So I'll just use a teaspoon twice. Some seasoning and our remaining two tablespoons of oil. And then we're going to whisk that together, mix it all up. And there's our dressing. So, taken this out of the oven and left it to cool, and then chopped the chicken into pieces. Now we're going to put the potato and the chicken in our dressing, along with the kale. And then a 
good sprinkling of the chopped almonds. I like those, so I'll have some more of those. And then give it a good mix together. So make sure it's well coated and then we're ready to dish it up. This looks delicious. And there we go. And if you're not a fan of chicken, a vegan option like tofu or seitan will work just as well. Now we have Joshua Harris on the show and he'll be making a nutritious smoothie for those mornings you're running a little late and need something on the go. So Joshua, welcome back to the show. What smoothie will we be making today? Well today now we've got um, a banana, some ginger, we've got some natural Greek yoghurt and we've got a little bit of honey. Um, so the yoghurt, great source of natural protein. We've got some banana there with some uh, glucose just to replenish those energy stores. And then we've got some ginger and honey as a little bit of flavouring. You can pop those ingredients in there for me. So as I'm putting these in here, oh, oh in there, that, that would help. What are the benefits of, uh, of this particular smoothie? So as I said, in the morning, we ideally want a little bit of protein um, just because that's what's going to fill you up and get the sort of recovery process going in the body. Um, we've got some sugar um, as that's going to kickstart your energy, so it's fast release energy. And then the ginger and honey is literally simply there as a little bit of flavouring. Um, potentially, people do find the Greek yogurt is bland and it just, um, just freshens it up for you as well. Ginger is also a um, good way for the... Oh, I'll let you put that in. Put that in there. Is a good way for the body as an um, anti-inflammatory as well. Uh, right, let's put that in. Okay, so um, that's great for a morning time snack. Um, Diet-wise, if I asked you to choose between the macro diet, the keto, and the vegan, which would you say was best? Um, so the macro, um, not really a sustainable diet. Um, as for the rest of your life, is what you want. Really, you want sustainable, something that you're going to be doing forever. Um, no one's going to be measuring meals, you know, three to five times a day. Um, Keto diet, again, it's an exclusionary diet, um, so you're not eating, um, you're cutting down your carbs quite heavily, um, and fats as well. It's not even open. <laughs> Would you say it was uh, more important for someone to have a lifestyle change rather than a diet? It, it depends what you're doing. I mean, without knowing their diet specifically, and without yeah. doing what exercise they're doing, I'll let you do that. Without knowing what exercise they're doing, um, it's difficult to say. Um, but in overall, you want to balance lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, don't cut anything out. Um, the vegan diet, as you mentioned, um, that is one that does cut out animal products. Again, ethically, if that's what you want to do. Not, I've not put any that's, in. That's all right, I'm just going to squeeze it out of here. That's um, perfectly fine. Um, but in an ideal world, um, the animal protein is where you're going to get what we call the essential proteins that the body can't actually make. Um, so it's a great way to do that without having to eat lots and lots of vegetables as you would do with the vegan diet for there. Okay. Put this on for you now. There if we, we put that on enough. there and we give that a blend. <laughs> and there we have our perfect morning smoothie. A little sip. Oh, <laughs> shall, shall, I, shall I give that a try? We've just about run out of time, but I will, f I will have this and thank you for your time. Thanks very much now. See you again soon. Joshua, there's some great tips there. Um, if you haven't got time for any of that, oh, no, like Joshua said, changing your diet won't make any permanent changes to your body, so it's important to have exercise alongside it. Now, Dylan has done a workout for a video for us earlier this week, which is available for everyone to do at home, if you get time in the evening, or even if you want to work out or doing some housework. Guys, my name's Dylan, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through a quick three-minute workout that you can do in your homes. These simple exercises can be done using a resistance band and a skipping rope, which you can purchase on stores such as Amazon. So the circuit will focus on five different stations, targeting different muscle groups from the upper body to the lower body. So let's go, guys. Let's get on with this now. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing is the push-up. This will work the chest, the shoulders, and the back of the arms, known as the tricep. So let me show you how to perform a push-up. So get into the push-up position. Hands need to be shoulder-width apart. Feet back, keeping that back nice and straight, keeping those abs contracted and the core tight. And we're going to drop down into a push-up now. Do one more to show you all. So if you're struggling to do the push-up, we can make it a little bit more simple by doing a push-up starting on the knees. So knees shoulder width apart, hands again, always shoulder width apart. Core nice and tight, back straight and we'll drop down again. So, that was the push-up. 
you need to perform 10 repetitions to really work that upper body. Moving on, we'll pick up the resistance band. Place it in between your feet so it's nice and secure. Feet shoulder width apart again, and we're going to perform an exercise known as the bicep curl. This will really work the upper arm and help turn up those arms. Palms facing nice and forward, back nice and straight, cord engaged, and we'll curl up and down. One more time for you all. Up and down. Perfect. So, for the bicep curl, we need to perform 10 repetitions. Moving on, we're going to do some cardiovascular work. We're going to pick up our skipping rope. So what this exercise is going to do is really work the heart and the lungs and really improve your general fitness and maybe help lower your blood pressure as well. So I'm going to show you how to perform a couple of skips. It's quite simple to do. I need to perform this for 30 seconds. So the final exercise we're going to do is the lunge. This will work the thigh, the back of the leg known as the hamstring and the glutes. So get into a lunge position, back nice and straight, head up. Lunge down, come back up again, one more time, come back up again. And then we're going to perform 10 repetitions on each leg to really get those legs working. So we need to perform this circuit three times and we'll have a two minute rest in between each time you repeat the circuit. This will help you to recover, get your breathing rate up again and get ready to go for the next circuit. And this can be repeated three times a week to hit your daily fitness goals. So thank you very much for tuning in today. Next week we'll go through an intense five minute abs workout to really help you get that summer bod, sculpt those abs and get yourself ready. So thank you very much guys. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. I'll be sure to give that a go later. Now if you're too busy in the day, you can try out a step tracker like this one that matches my jacket. The usual target is 10,000 steps a day and most are only around 10 to 15 pounds. One small way you can reach this target is by parking further away from work getting in those extra steps. I have to try that. Now we're going to check on Tracy to see how she's getting on with one of our diets. Hi, so this week I'm going to try and some healthy eating. Breakfast is probably just gonna be something like apple, banana, a cup of black coffee, then a salad for lunch at work. I have a snack, it'll probably just be some more fruit or a cereal bar or something. In the evening, I've got some salads again, some vegetables. Um, I shall probably do the odd piece of fish, just grilled with salt and pepper. I'll see how I go. I'll see you next week and let you know. Bye. Hi, so I've been healthy eating for the last week. Um, fruit for breakfast, hummus for lunch, um, fish, chicken, very light suppers, all that sort of thing. Really, really hard not to eat snacks, but I've got cereal bars and that sort of um, healthy thing to eat when I'm really hungry in the afternoon. Don't feel that much different at the moment, um, but I'm going to add a bit of exercise next week. I'm going to try and join a Pilates class and see if that sort of helps to get things going. I have a little bit more energy, but other than that, I'm still not feeling that much different just yet. But I'm going to stick with it and hopefully the next couple of weeks I will see a difference. So if I was going to advise anyone else how to uh, see some real changes, I would say that healthy eating is very good and necessary, but if you want to see some real physical changes, you actually need to exercise. Tracy's been making some great progress there and once she gets into a pattern of those home workouts she'll be fitter than ever. Now if you have found today useful then all the details will be on our website at fitat40.co.uk so you can watch these workouts again or even look at some of our diet plans which will help to cut out those high calorie foods. If you haven't already watched the show each week, we will be carrying out different tests and meeting up with our resident scientist Gary to explore the different diets in more depth. We will also have a different exercise available for you each week so you can vary what you are working on around the body. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you put some of all that into action and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Yeah, I think we'll exercise first. Oh, no. Off you go. Can you start? I'll start. <laughs>
stretch out the arms. 